Now, most of you or some of you may be experiencing issues with their landscapes whenever uh, they're using a third person character and the camera clips. Now in my particular case, in this environment that I'm developing right now, I have Nanite enabled and also a lot of um, physical objects and, you know, the landscape itself um, is, is got quite a lot of uh, protrusions within. So, you know, heights and so on. So if I press play right now and I have my third person character, you know, into the scene and I start walking around, uh, what you'll notice is that as I go around and if I crash my camera into the ground like that, I'll be able to see through the ground and this is mainly because of nanite but it's also because the collision itself with the objects is just not tight enough and in some cases some people may have another system in place where the camera just simply clips through this entirely so you can see it right here but what if it clips entirely regardless like right now it's still hitting a bit of a collision what happens and how you can fix this but this is quite easy because at the end of the day it's all tied to your third person character so if you actually go in here in the third person character blueprint, um, assuming that you already know how to set this up and how to, you know, add the third person character, you should have a setup that looks like this. And if you don't, if the camera boom, for example, is missing and the follow camera is attached to the character instead, then I would recommend you add the camera boom. If you go in the viewport, the camera boom is this red line over here. And it's actually controlled, it's, it's actually a spring arm. So if you actually want to add this in, you can just click on the add and then type in spring and then just add a spring arm. Once the um, spring arm or the camera boom is over, you know, in there, you want to be able to then change its uh, settings such as, you know, the location. This is how I've got it set up. The target arm length, which is currently at 400. And you also want to make sure that you use, you've got use pawn control rotation turned on and also make sure that the do collision test is ticked on. And this is the important bit. Because once you do these, once you have the camera boom or spring arm as they call it, once you have it in place, you can then attach this follow camera. So let's say it was like this and you add the spring arm, you can attach the follow camera over to the camera boom. And now the camera will function exactly like on the third person character that I currently have. As long as you have selected your BP third person character and make sure that if you type in yaw, it's got this use control rotation yaw as off. This is important to actually have it that way. Otherwise, this won't work properly. Now, assuming all of this is done uh, and you want to get rid of the clipping entirely, like what you saw in my particular case, then you want to click the camera boom. And when it says do collision test, you want to increase this probe size from 12 to something else. So in my case, I'm going to put it to 50 and then I'm going to compile the project and then go back in here. And as I go back in here, I will then be able to click play. And now, obviously, my camera has suffered a little bit and we need to change this. It's gone further away. And that's because we haven't reset the camera position. As you can see, when I uh, I push the camera to follow the mesh instead of the, the spring arm or the boom, it, the camera position shifted. So I have to select my camera. And over here, where we've got the location. I'm going to reset this. And now you'll notice that the camera is literally at the lip of the spring arm right there, as it should be. And I'm going to compile and then go back in here. We have the spring arm with a 50 collision probe and I press play. And now what you'll notice is that my camera collides with the landscape. I mean, you can still um, sort of like um, clip a little bit, but it's definitely not as bad as it was before. So as I walk around for the landscape, you, you'll notice that the camera basically shifts closer to the character a lot faster than what it did before. And this is because the, um, the sort of like the setting that controls how quickly this collides with the environment is now higher than the default 12. Now, again, if you don't have a spring arm at all in your blueprint, then I feel really sorry for you and you should definitely add it. But if you already had it, then I think this trick of the actual um, a probe size is going to help a lot and a lot of games actually use this by the way because not the, the the developer generally does not want you to get too close to the meshes that's on you know that are peppered around the landscape because that might reveal that the textures aren't as good as they look from a, a certain distance a lot of the budgeted textures that are being you know the, the budget of the actual project is generally around what's the distance from which the camera visualizes the visuals in the scene so i hope this helped um and yeah uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one and guys if you'd like to support the channel just have a look on my patreon page as this project will become available soon for people to alpha well beta beta test it's currently in alpha but uh, yeah stay tuned for it it's going to be quite a wild one it's going to uh, 
have a lot of options like rivers and lava and so on, which is all within the landscape. None of it is generated through meshes. It's just landscape effectively. So yeah, stay tuned for that.